Hi, good morning, everybody. My name is Eduardo Pozzi. I'm a urology resident at uh, San Raffaele Hospital in Milan, Italy. And today I'm very happy to present you the results of this collaborative study between University College London Hospital and the Christie's NHS Foundation Trust in Manchester. Uh, it's a study about the longer term outcomes and the feasibility of dynamic sentinel lymph node biopsy for clinically impalpable penile cancer patients. So to do this, we enrolled 509 patients with clinical impalpable disease at presentation, so without palpable lymph nodes in the groin, with penile cancer, squamous cell carcinoma, with a pathological T stage of T1, G2, or above. And uh, we assess, again, the diagnostic accuracy of the staging technique. And also we assess the cancer-specific survival and the recurrence-free survival of, of these patients. Also, we assess the cancer-specific survival and recurrence-free survival of those that had a positive completion radical lymph node dissection, because whenever you have a positive lymph, dynamic sentinel lymph node biopsy, then the patient should be offered and must undergo a completion radical inguinal lymph node dissection. So, as I said, we enrolled retrospectively 509 penile cancer patients undergoing dynamic sentinel lymph node biopsy, we collected all the social demographics characteristics, including age, type of primary surgery, complications, T stage, tumor grade. Then we collected the number of true positive, true negatives, false negative, and false positives. It is important to note that the false negative was defined as any inguinal lymph node recurrence within 12 months from a previously negative dynamic sentinel lymph node biopsy. Then the sensitivity and specificity of dynamic sentinel lymph node biopsy were calculated, and Kaplan Meyer analysis were used to estimate the five years cancer specific survival and recurrent free survival rates, both of those with dynamic sentinel lymph node undergoing dynamic sentinel lymph node biopsy and those undergoing completion radical lymph node dissection. So to give uh, overall data, the median age of our cohort was 64 with an interquantile range of 53 to 71 years. The uh, median follow-up for cancer-specific survival and occurrence-free survival was 62.5 months. We didn't have in our cohort T4 stage patients. We had the majority of them were T1, 378 and the uh, G2 was the mostly represented grade in our cohort. Surprisingly enough, the false negatives were only three in our cohort, which is a very low false negative rate compared to the studies done in the, um, in the literature. This, the main explanation that we can give to this uh, very low uh, false negative rates is that both the Christie's and the University College London uh, Hospital uh, in the UK are two referral centers for this very rare disease. And these are, uh, as referral centers, many expert surgeons perform these procedures. So uh, that's uh, why do we have this explanation of a very false, uh, that could be a speculation of why we had this very low false negative rate. So we concluded that the dynamic sentinel lymph node sensitivity was 92.5%, whereas the specificity of dynamic sentinel lymph node biopsy was a 100% because the false positive rate was zero as uh, the histopathologist would not uh, identify and um, uh, cancer uh, as inflammation or inflammation as cancer because they are, uh, as they are very trained to uh, analyze the tissues of this very rare disease, that the a false positive would be something very, very rare. And this is, of course, a limitation that should be addressed in, the, in our study. The postoperative complication of dynamic sentinel lymph node biopsy after this operation were very low, with a wood infection rate only occurring in 7% of all patients. And a positive histology and dynamic sentinel lymph node biopsy was found in 37 patients. And again, a positive histology in completion radical inguinal lymphadenectomy was found in 34 patients. 
so in conclusions, we can we 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 found that yeah, in our that dynamic sentinel for biopsy is a feasible procedure. It is nothing uh, very new, as it was very proven in the literature, but. Uh, we had the, the strength of our study was that it was a two center study rather than a single one, single center study. And we analyzed a very large cohort of patients. So uh, we confirm that the dynamic center infernal biopsy should be offered to all patients coming to the office with, and seeking medical help for penile cancer with a confirmed histopathological T stage of T1, G2 or above and clinical uh, impalpable disease at presentation. Thank you.